Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Cole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different to my usual sneaker reviews. Um, I've seen a lot of YouTubers start posting their top five summer or spring sneakers. And I really dig these kicks, don't get me wrong, but it's not really that relevant to me or to us here in South Africa. So I've decided to do my top five for winter sneakers. Just before we get into this list, I just want to say thank you to you guys again for the support you showed in the previous video. You are appreciated and it means a lot to me. So please don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you are new around here, don't forget to hit that sub button. So just before this list, I just want to say that it is in no specific order. It doesn't go from my least favorite to my most favorite. This is just my top five sneakers that I'll probably be wearing this upcoming fall winter season. Um, and just because a shoe is missing or you feel like a shoe should be on you that I don't have, it's not because I don't like it or I don't think it's a good winter shoe. It's just because I don't have them. So leave it down in the comments down below for everyone and you can just help each other out. So enough chit chat, let's get into this list. Starting with number five. We got the Adidas Boost. More specifically, these are the Adidas Boost 19. And these are the Adidas NMD City Socks. I don't usually buy Adidas and wear Adidas, but I'm not gonna deny how comfortable the Boost sneaker is. I mean, it's a sneaker you can wear day in, day out, no complaints. So I would definitely recommend a Boost for winter. These are a dark colorway you got the nmd city sock in the glitch colorway and the adidas 19 in this black white original colorway obviously you can go with whatever colorway you want the big downside of any boost as i'm sure you can see over here is that when it gets dirty it really gets dirty and cleaning the boost is a real real train smash the one nice thing about boost sneakers right now is that the half has completely died down so you could find a these or you know any other boost for under retail i personally would recommend the city socks just because of the ease you can get your foot in get your foot out and i just love this design the back the little pull tab it's really sick at number four we've got the classic air max 90. <laughs> These are the new species colorway that I recently did a review on. Um, you can click up on the card anywhere here on the top to watch that review if you'd like. But long story short, this sneaker has really premium quality materials around it, which makes it a really warm sneaker, which is why I recommend it for winter. But it doesn't just specifically have to be the new species colorway. It can be any colorway you guys like for winter. For me personally, I really dig these Air Max 90 wheels, which I think just scream for winter in this brown suede. This is super clean fall colorway. I think that the brown upper of the suede and the brown leather heel tab, off-white midsole and the rubber sole just make these a perfect winter sneaker. And you guys will see me in these a lot. So coming in at number three, we got a sneaker that's a little bit different. We got the Converse One Stars. So plain and simple, these are my beaters. Uh, we know in winter it's going to be muddy. We know it's going to be raining. And I don't want to, and I'm sure you guys don't want to, get your favorite sneakers dirty or muddy. So for me, I wear these to get dirty. If they get damaged, I need to replace them. Easy, they're not too expensive. They're pretty simple, just black. Got the white Converse One Star, and it's this long, long head suede material on the upper, which is surprisingly durable. Coming in at number two, we've got another Air Max sneaker. Believe it or not. These are the Air Max 720s. So I know initially these can look like a really good summer sneaker, but surprisingly, the mesh material is really thick and insulated which makes them very warm for winter. Also, this huge air unit, which is actually Nike's biggest air unit yet, provides a pretty good separation for your upper from the ground. So, I mean, all that dirt or mud that you get on the sole stays on the sole, which is pretty much most of the sneaker. The sole is this hard plastic, which is also super easy to clean when it does get dirty which is why I really dig wearing these in winter. Once again, you can go with whatever colorway you want. 
But this colorway specifically, the Northern Lights colorway, I think this dark purple is a very nice color for winter. I got the Air Max 720s towards the end of last year and I simply haven't stopped wearing them since. Some people say they aren't that comfy, but I find them to be super comfy for me. The final sneaker on my list. The Air Jordan, please. This is the next colorway. As you can see, it's got the hints of orange and blue on the upper and you've just got the plain white sneaker which is next, the next colorways. You've also got the elephant print on the toe, the heel tab, and around the lace eyelets as well. I know, I know you guys are gonna be saying, but Cole, these sneakers are white. Aren't they gonna get dirty? And yes, they probably will. So I would recommend going with a dark colorway like the black cement, would definitely a better, be a better option for winter. But this is the only colorway I have. So this is the colorway I'm gonna wear. When it does get dirty, this leather is super easy to clean. You just take a warm rag and you wipe it and that pretty much does the job. So that's why even this white colorway for me is gonna be a staple in this fall winter season. Being a high top as well, this little bit of extra height over here on the sneaker will also help in keeping your ankles warm, keeping your feet warm for winter. I just think overall, a high top sneaker is a staple for winter. You can't not have one in your rotation and this is probably going to be my go-to for this fall winter season. On the inside of the shoe, on the tongue, you can see a date over here, which is the 4th of the 8th, 1998. And this is actually the date when Michael Jordan dropped 40 points against the Knicks. That is just a little piece of detail that I love. So that pretty much wraps up my list, guys. That was my top five fall winter sneakers that I'm going to be rocking this upcoming season. <laughs> let me know down below what your guys list is going to be and what you guys think of my list do you agree with my picks do you think some of them aren't a good winter sneaker let me know always keen to hear back from you guys and once again please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscription down below you guys are really appreciated. Till the next one, peace.